Welcome back guys, this time I got a really special video for you guys going on and um, yeah, I'm, we are going to try uh, explain why NASA should be giving us a lot better image quality there's absolutely no excuse for, for what they are bringing out at the moment and there's really some stuff uh, that just doesn't add up so uh, I did my research uh, well I was actually uh, not researching but setting everything up here so I could show you guys why I think the way I think and uh, we could all agree no matter who you are you don't have to be an expert um, or, or, or have done the studies that I've done you could clearly see that there's something going on with the NASA image quality so we are going to cover it because there are simply just images I would like to burn on the I said this once in my video, it, 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 it just doesn't make sense. Now we're going to be covering a wider variety of uh, subjects in this video. So just, just check this video out till the end and uh, be sure to always do your own research or, or just check out what I've been checking out. So this is an official image here. Um, I think I'll put all the, the links here uh, in, in the description in this video so you can just check it out for yourself. and. So all right, so let, let, let's get started. You, you could clearly see that this image is rubbish. Um, I don't care what you say or what you think, it just really is bad. So, uh, look at this. You know, kind of like all these kind of small squares, just, just bad image quality. And this image quality, I, um, I can refer to and call it as JPEG degradation, which is a really bad thing here and I forgot to set up one thing here look at this all these kind of weird cut outs blurred out um, I don't know what they were doing but we as a public we, we deserve more I thought that this was public property those images but all we get are these really really bad images for example this one might look nice in the first place but they're just going uh, to zoom in here you can see it's absolutely destroyed. You can see all those weird squares here. Now those aren't pixels. Now mind mind the colors itself here. Here you have kind of purplish here. Here you have some kind of greenish, some kind of yellowish, and something is definitely going on with the image quality. Now let me bring up an example here. This is the uh, this is a really old example, so forgive me because as you can see, the original quality in the first place is like really bad. But the point is, the more you copy an image, the worse the image. Now this is typical for for JPEG, and this is why the reason why I don't like saving my uh, graphical projects as a JPEG. Not many are aware of this, but but your images are actually deteriorating, so. Uh, be sure to I don't know how to avoid it actually um, if, if you do want to keep like images forever in the same state like um, like you like an image of your face you want to show it hundred years later to your grand grandchildren I would definitely recommend saving it as a TIFF for example which is a, a lot a lot better but also a lot bigger um, the more you back stuff up the worse it gets but this, this is not always the case. The, the best way to store your images is to upload it to a cloud. Now, let me just uh, explain this really quickly. Um, let's say we have this image here on the NASA server. Now you're downloading it, so you think that you are copying the image, which is the result that the images are always getting worse. Now, it doesn't work like that because you can only imagine if you would download one image a million times there would be nothing left anymore so this is not the way it works but the way it works you go control C control V let's copy that so we got a copy of this now you copy this one and now you have another one and it just gets worse and worse but don't copy this one 50 times just take the result you've just copied out so right we have a copy of a copy of a copy let's do it another time copy of a copy and you can just go on eventually the image will deteriorate really badly um, let me delete this stuff here um, if I do lag I'm recording a lossless quality so you'll be able to see um, all the pixels and all the colors like you, like I see them on my screen which is really important in this video of course so let's zoom in on the really bad example here <coughs> but 
it uh, it is sufficient there and now mind the colors here all looks very nice and you just get worse and worse kind of greenish here now we're going to the last example here image 50 i think it's copied 50 times now i don't care how the original quality was but because it is about the colors we've just seen in this image now take a look here you see this kind of brownish reddish thing here um kind of yellowish thing you see uh green and depending on the on the on the image itself you can see different colors but it's always in the same color perspective so this could be a bit more purple like we've seen here dependent on the quality i mean uh, dependent on the image itself so look at this it's kind of this purplish everything is going on there now what i actually particularly found strange about this image is where every time you think that there's something going on there it's like cut out now this is really really strange because i'm not yet able to figure out i don't think that this is image uh, degradation for the simple fact you can see pixels here now this de this is not pixels it's just been slapped on it so this is really really strange it, it it doesn't make sense at all now you can see that there's some blurred stuff going on there you can see a really vague line going here who knows who knows what's going on there now let's move on let's uh, grab another look here because you can see that there's like weird squares things going on in images here we have another example and you can clearly see kind of these kind of patterns where a, an area in the image it has been degraded uh, usually when we're looking at enhanced pictures that happens mostly on the background and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean new one new image background here not much going on of the 10 saves you see more is going on now let's go to the 50 saves and you can see this kind of degradation here so you can easily think that there's an object going on around there or well, not an object mainly but you can see those kind of squares like i've shown in the lady so it's even worse than 50 saves so what does this tell us um nasa's actually publicly admitted that they photoshop images before they release them so we could easily say just by quality itself that this image for example has been processed by uh, for example by the first team the first guy they they've done their stuff so it's all about compartmentalization or a kind of a hard word for a person that doesn't speak native english but i hope you get what i mean let me try again compartmentalization anyways you get the point right so you could say one team is working on the original one and they get the, the then they copy that image give it to another team and they work on, on on that image and they copy it and give it to the next team so not everyone knows what is exactly going on in in the image itself because only one team has seen the very very original image of the you know of mars so you can see uh it's kind of stitching here because i'm not quite sure anyways that's not what the video is about so I hope I made a point here and what was I going to cover next so you, you'd say you know um, let me check out where the link is page information you're asked to rover this link here so the next thing you'll be you'll be saying hey you know what this is due to NASA sending images across planets so anything could happen on the way now this doesn't make sense for for many many reasons and that's why i'm making this video right now actually trying to debunk every thought you can have on um, rectifying their deeds there's no justification on the really bad image quality that we're getting from nasa now they've shown on many occasions that they can make a lot better images so you'd say yeah but the signal has been distorted now read the headline here Mars Curiosity Rover gets software update and it's literally a firmware update so I hope you are uh, acquainted with the with with your own with your phones that you're having right now these modern uh, phones they they just need firmware updates now if you start updating your phone and it's on 10% battery and and it dies during the the update you can throw your phone literally away in the garbage can because the software has been so messed up it's it's just unrecoverable uh you'd have to send it over to samsung or apple or 
any other company for that matter because they have the the stuff to fix your phone um, if this happens to the rover while updating if you only miss one single piece of code the, the rover is destroyed so we can conclude one thing they've successfully managed it on this article from December 23 2013 and we can just say that there's a safe fail for updating a rover or, or sending data from A to B now I can guarantee you that, that there are protocols for uh, sending data so even the networks the old first internet that came to exist in had already its first protocols of how to handle data so if you so it will uh, get to you in its entirety now what was I going to cover next here that's quite an extensive video here now I'm going to show you the data transfer rate right the data transfer rate it's right here got it from wiki you know why not there are tons of reasons why not but it's uh, quite a nice summary here curiosity can communicate with earth directly at speeds to 32 kilobytes all right kilobits here and you can just easily say that they can send quite a large image here now the way this works here is it sends it to the orbiter the orbiter has more power resources that it can use to send the data back to earth now this speed is quite big now I'm going to grab my calculator here. Um, how long would it take to you know what let's say five minutes of sending the entire picture in the wave you know so it's when it has left the orbiter so um, five minutes times 60 seconds is hold on there times 32 is a ah, different result I think so all right let's go with it just make your own calculation just research it so it would take them five minutes to send it and to receive it so I'm not counting in the um, um, the time it takes by for, for traveling between Earth and Mars so it would take you five minutes to download a 10 megabyte picture now could be not so accurate there could have just made a mistake but I'm trying to make a point here <coughs> now let's go to an iPhone 3G image here I think I got it downloaded here and let me show you <coughs> sorry how big the image is this image is 168 kilobytes now this looks a lot more crisp than what we're getting right now and it'd be saying wild curiosity is uh, quite small on Mars now and it had to be developed so that took some years as well um, nothing rectifies this uh, especially this these new moon photos from from the Chinese uh, Chang E3 this is 2014 I mean come on look at this now can you see that the image from the iPhone 3G is a lot better now I don't know what date the iPhone 3G came out but like I said it doesn't rectify it at all and now let's go to the next thing here you'll be saying so we were talking about software updates right how important it is to get the data fully and and don't miss anything so let's place a coma here so you see let me give a demonstration here there's a coma here some uh, SQL here alright you get it, it doesn't work at all so if there's a safe fail for, for software which software is data and an image is data as well so the safe fail that is there for, for data I mean for, for, for coding uh, for the firmware is also available right there on the rover and on earth to receive an image in its fullest quality there's no excuse for what we're getting right now it's ridiculous now I think I've actually co covered almost everything here whatever I covered here let me check out and of course let's go in now this is the um, original rock nest image now let's zoom in into an area let's check it out here and you can see that this is a lot more clear than what we've seen uh, just before now it doesn't matter what rover but, but every single rover is like 
one super nice image and the rest is like really stupid it looks like there has been some manipulation going on there and remember NASA is publicly admitting that they photoshopped some images before they released them um, so yeah what do you think guys I mean uh, is your money well spent or isn't it well spent let me know in the comments and I hope uh, I've taught you something here and this one will be going into my playlist on uh, trying to debunk NASA. This absolute, this is just so ridiculous. I mean, let me just show you. Look at this. This frustrates me so bad. When I make this video, I actually was uh, telling uh, the viewers that I'll just print this image out and burn it on the street and record it and then upload it on YouTube. And I still might do so. But I'm not that aggressive person. I'm enjoying what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to make people ask questions. Just ask questions. You're entitled to do it. We we paid billions on this. I mean, I might, I might be from Europe, but it's like one giant space agency. It doesn't even matter. I mean, uh, we're just pouring money in, billions in, as uh, we're getting nothing. It's it's just as bad in any space agency. And uh, just like I said, keep in mind the price here. What it has cost here, two and a half billion dollars. This is what we're getting in 2014. I've explained to you that the data transfer rate is high enough to send better images. I've shown you here that an image of 150 kilobytes is a lot better than what we're getting right now. And uh, I've explained to you how software works here. I've explained to you how important it is to receive something in its entirety. So there, are, there is a safe fill. What programmer doesn't make a safe fill? There are protocols for this. They have existed for so long. There is no reason why we should be getting this quality. Absolutely no reason. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Be sure to share this uh, video. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to spread the word here. And uh, NASA didn't see this coming, you know, 50 years ago. We just have all this computing power here. We are spreading information. Uh, I've, I've, I have my degrees on graphical process. Did, did, did everything more on the process than uh, actually where the, where the tool is. Eventually I started programming and you know what? They didn't see us coming and we'll debunk them completely. Now I like to think, I like to ask questions. This is great fun for me. I'm not doing this out of hate because hate is an obstructive feeling. But it is very disappointing to see um, a space agency giving us rubbish. Even the Chinese are giving us rubbish. I mean, yeah. Just just do your job. I mean, seriously. You could at least simulate the lighting and just test the cameras before you send out a camera to the moon, for example. <coughs> you know what the conditions are all like there. And you send in in 2014 and you give me this. It's ridiculous. So yeah, some images uh, don't show any form of JPEG degradation, and some images do. But remember, it's it's we are talking mostly here about JPEG. So they are for sure, they are probably receiving uh, images in uh, TIFF format. I think they had their own format, but they are for sure receiving the images not in JPEG format on Earth here. <coughs> so uh, thank you very much for uh, listening. And remember, always ask questions. Spread the information, let everyone know. And uh, subscribe. And every thumbs up is very, uh, very useful. So people can't see that they are not alone. That we're doing a good job here. And uh, it's some form of appreciation for me. So I really enjoy that. I mean, uh, I've seen actually a guy on my channel. He was like, I've just watched the anomaly on another video. And everyone was like, thumbs up. And I, I'm, I'm at... 10 thumbs down I think 9 and like 45 thumbs up so this 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 shows people you know you're not the only one there so it's it's kind of a mental thing here so that's why it's really uh, valuable it, it has some value to me and uh, other people as well which is why I started my channel I mean I'm doing this in my free time because I believe that we should give back to society and we have the right to ask questions we should be able to check on the officials. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.